though, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? So we have a severe weather warning going around, right? We're hearing that there's a disaster imminent, a th thunder and lightning, tornadoes, disasters, hurricane. Everything is coming our way, Bruh. ladies and gentlemen. We got the homie Asmund Gold chiming in, okay? We had the GTA 6 stuff the other day, which we covered in a separate video, which I will link you in just a little bit, right? Wait for it. But today, one of the director, one of the dev, came on, started calling gamers toxic, problematic, menace to society, gamers deserve to not live, essentially okay and yeah he just went crazy and started saying that hey don't buy our game and gamers came out in response and said that we're not gonna buy your game I got a bunch of clips that I'm gonna share with you guys like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders guys like for two dislike for 5,000 okay but first of all my question is that why is everyone beefing man I don't get it we had the conquer situation Hap that happened not long ago. It's Concord. They spent. They, they don't learn from anybody, man. Concord. Those suckers spent eight years, four hundred million U.S. dollars. I still cannot compute it, but that's the news, right? And they ultimately couldn't even make one million dollars even. And they had to shut down their studio. And now we got one of the Xbox director dev coming out calling gamers toxic, problematic, and saying that, hey, don't buy our game. Where is Uncle Phil at? Uncle Phil, bro, you need to do something about it. Right, let's get down to the content here, boo-boo. No, Diddy. Roll or it. my own. Sickos.jpg. Seems like a great guy. Art Wait daddy at Obsidian Entertainment. Art directing avowed. All thoughts and nonsense are my own. Sickos.jpg. I wanted so badly to make him mad with my game, and I cannot believe it actually happens. Wait. Uh, when he says I wanted him to make mad, I wanted him to be mad. Uh, he's talking about Elon Musk. Wait until you see the default. You sad. You said um, he's an art director, not a language director. You mm. said little shit. Yeah. Uh, having pronouns in a fantasy video game unreal really acceptable. Avowed art director admits to wanting to make Elon Musk mad and hints that the game is ultra woke. Wait till Bruh. you see the default. So. So he wanted to make Elon Musk mad. Ended up making everybody mad. <laughs> And everybody's like commenting, I'm gonna be non buy B U Y, okay, not B I B U Y. Hypen, is that hypen or is that like in French? I don't know. I, I do speak the Francais as well, okay? But non buy B U Y N A R Y, okay? So that's what people are saying. I'm non binary in that aspect, so. Damn, homie, damn. Wait for it. Oh, let me get this straight. This guy decided to alter a video game in the hopes that it would make people who he disagrees with politically angry. That sure makes me want to buy the video game, right? Reminder, what is this here? Reminder to black artists out there who are looking for portfolio reviews or job advice. My DMs are open and you will always have my priority. We got two. First of all, man, I gotta say, this is the revenge of the Captain BBC, man. Salute to Captain BBC. After what these seconds, okay? After what Ubisoft done to Yasuke, man. This is justice for him, man. I love the fact that, yeah, mess around more. Mess around more, okay? And you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out. Y'all suckers are insanely hella racist. Ubisoft specifically, hella racist. To Asian people, to my black homies, to my brown homies. I mean, to them, brown people like me don't even exist, okay? And they openly are racist towards white people as well. They're racist to everybody! And also using LGTV people as shields too. Man, these like us crazy! And we have another one! Oh, man! Roll it. Too many crusty white dudes in this field. Please let me help you replace me one day. I want to go back to living in the woods. Then go do it. I feel like that'd be better for everybody. He can yeah. say, oh, it wouldn't bother me if I lost my job to somebody for this reason. Because it's not happening. He's an art director. He has an established career. I guarantee you, if Obsidian fired this guy and told him, we're firing you because you're white and we want somebody who's not white in the role, he'd file a fucking lawsuit. This As a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, bruh. I'm sick and tired, man. I'm sick and tired, bruh. Where are my black homies at? Where are my white homies at? Where are my brown homies? I don't even know if there are any brown people watching my video or not. But like, if you're brown like me, man, damn, man. Guys, like, I, I swear, people don't believe me, man. Like, I'm Pakistani. I'm South Asian, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, it's just the lighting, guys. It's, oh my, I'm legally blind. I'm legally blind. My bad, guys. My bad. But, but like, yeah, right? Like, damn, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card. What? 
Why can't we just get good video games, man? What, what's going on with these suckers? What is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Nah, seriously. Say psych. Say psych. Guys, really quickly, if you do have Instagram, if you do have Twitter, it would be my honor, my pleasure to have an elite stud muffin, Giga Chad, like you there as well, man. Links are always in the description. Roll it. Total performative bullshit. He wouldn't be going to live in the woods. You're not a lumberjack. Just because you have a beard and you shave your head doesn't make you a fucking lumberjack. You're sitting yeah. around making video games. What's wrong with you? Any not everybody with a beard is a man in 2024, 2025. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Way Avowed comes out February 18th next year. Give it a whirl if you ain't a feared of the woke my of the woke my mind virus uh this mfr said woke my mind virus yeah is he drunk posting maybe he is i don't know surely this is so he responded to him but quoted himself in in this way i mean nothing wrong with quoting yourself but like don't make sense though don't make sense though so you made an error and you're like saying this i'm off I'm off. okay he's not taking himself seriously that's good that's good that's good a troll account what a retard holy fuck <laughs> he really is oh man he really is um imagine being a proud racist you know celebrating the fact that you're man. using your game to push your political viewpoint i'm sure damn, the investors homie. and the people that run the co damn homie company will really they'll be super happy to hear about that that damn homie damn homie shout out to the homie smash jt wait for this one guys big big roll this is gonna be one of those where there's smoke there's fire situations the other day i made a video talking about how it it was peculiar that Obsidian Entertainment was not allowing the early access players to show off the character creation screen. And when people started discovering that there were pronouns in there, there were some legitimate concerns. And then what came from that exposed the entire situation for what it is. Obsidian's latest game, Avowed, is going to be a complete travesty of a woke fest that gamers are going to reject vehemently because this is a direction that the game industry should not be going. What's going nice. on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And holy crap, the unhinged rant of blue... I, I just don't understand what, like... So you want to piss off Elon Musk, okay? Uh, and I'll say, okay, if you don't like Elon, you don't like Elon. If you love Elon, you love Elon. I mean, what did he do to you that you're this mad that you're gonna be putting your entire game, your project, your team? Mind you, making a game is a team effort, right? What, like, you gotta be as selfish, I cannot use some words here, but like, you're so selfish that you're... After what happened with Concord, prime example, right? So many people were working on that game and we heard that some devs, most of the devs were not allowed to speak. There were some devs that didn't like what they were working on, but of course, like their employees there uh, and they want, they, they were working there. They were, some of the devs were passionate. I mean, passionate, they, they want to make video games and, and they were there to do their job and they're told to do it this way now for sure they have to do it just like how soldiers gotta follow orders from the commander these devs gotta follow orders from their higher-ups right and whatever the higher-ups say they gotta commit to it back in the days the devs some devs had the say like the ground floor employees a normal dev had a say in it like if they didn't like something they would share their feedback and then collectively like if they would if all the team agrees then let's proceed if not okay let's scale it back you know you have conversation you have discussion let's uh i'll put my ideas on the table you put your ideas on the table and let's see if you can do both if not let's pick and choose and see which one would be the best option for our team and the gamers and our consumers so ultimately we would have one of the best product out there that will not just make us happy but our audience is happy too ultimately they people love it gamers love it our audience love it they will give us money we'll get paid and you know everybody happy shareholders happy investors happy everybody happy gamers happy everyone happy essentially right but with concord what we learned is that these suckers were not even allowed to say their opinion which is just crazy this is happening in the 21st century dog in america north america what freedom of speech don't even exist no more what the hell and we're not even talking like anything too serious we're talking video games here right 
of course what they're doing is serious but like we're talking video games they're like yeah so apparently what we learned is that if they were not allowed to speak because if they spoke and said that they didn't like this or that they would be fired what i mean by this and that is essentially this okay like yeah if you were like hey i don't like it me no gusta me no gusta this okay that this and that so essentially the devs were basically they had to approve this they were like okay yeah man we, we need to do that we need to do that if you don't like this design get your ass out of here you're fired i'm like holy crap and what happened later on they wasted eight million uh eight years and 400 million us dollars and ultimately they had to shut down their studio guess what people lost their job people lost their job now some of them are definitely gonna move on and work on something else some of them are gonna be hired in different like uh dev team or different studios okay but imagine could you imagine because of this one person and he's the art director right so i'm pretty sure he's earning more than a regular dev he probably uh he's gonna be fine even if his team is let go he's gonna be fine either he's gonna work somewhere else and he's gonna get a higher position but the the employees that are working under him or alongside him are the ones uh, p potentially gonna lose their job because if this game fails guess what's gonna happen dev's gonna first of all at minimum they're gonna get fired if not, the entire studio is going to be shut down. Who is affected by it? People that don't even have a say in it. Or maybe they do, maybe they don't. I, I would like to believe that some of them uh, are against it too, but they're just there. They're, they're just trying to do their job, right? But it's like higher-ups like this guy, uh, he want to piss off Elon Musk, ends up pissing everybody off, right? And he's like, uh, make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. Where is Uncle Phil at? Yo, Uncle Phil, you got to do something about it, man. You gotta, you gotta do something about it, man. Then you're gonna end up firing everybody because of this one guy. Like, damn. Blue Sky messages from the art director of Obsidian's Avowed, Matt Hansen, are so completely unhinged that this takes Gamergate to a whole new level, where this person who works at this company... What happened? What happened? What happened? That this takes game. I'm just a fan, but we're all doing our best for our family, country, God, and coach. He responded by saying, with all sincerity, there is no such thing as just a fan. Y'all are the whole reason for making this stuff, and it's why we do everything we can to make the game as inclusive as possible. Pissing off the chills is just a side benefit. Bumbo Club. There we go, bro. Yeah, gamers toxic, gamers toxic. Yeah. Gamergate to a whole new level, where this person who works at this company for over nine years is oh, straight up telling you that this game is not made for gamers and he does not want you buying the game. It's a very interesting strategy and I don't really think it's gonna work out for him. Yeah. Not against gamers who wanted to buy this game, but because their ideologies don't align with his, he doesn't give a crap about you. Mm. Xbox and Obsidian Entertainment's once highly anticipated first-person fantasy RPG, Avowed, now finds itself at the center of a very fast-growing controversy. Crazed art director Matt Hansen has been openly admitting to hating actual gamers. His yeah. messages on Dark Sky are a fascinating case study in what not to do when promoting a new game, because holy- This, uh, this should be like, yeah. This should be an example in every game studio right now, effective immediately, starting from now, what not to do, essentially. <laughs> yeah, man, like, this is what not to do. This is, a, this is an, a very good thing. This is a very good thing. The, at least, like, people now gonna learn from it what not to do. Dev's gonna, I mean, probably not, but, like... Holy crap! All this takes derangement to a whole new level. We've heard of TDS, you know, Trump derangement syndrome. I've heard many people say EDS, Elon derangement syndrome, because I feel like there's a direct correlation between the two, and these hardcore lefties really hate Elon Musk to the point of saying they are putting things into the game just to piss him off, yeah. even though he speaks for a large amount of gamers that agree with him. In a facts, recent post facts. on Blue Sky, Hansen stated, with all sincerity, there is no such thing as just a fan. Y'all are the whole reason for making this stuff. And, uh, and, and if you're not, uh, if you're like brand new to this topic or you're, you 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 want to know like just the context how this all started
started because Elon Musk, of course, it's not because of Elon Musk, like this has been ongoing for a while, but this specific news topic, this specific dev, Matt Hansen, director, why he got super mad, of course, like multitude of things, right? He probably saw like gamers calling out this woke BS, gamers not buying games. He probably saw how badly, severely, how badly Concord failed. And he ultimately got pissed off by that too. Let's be real, right? But, but uh, what made him like go off like that on the gamers, on his target audience, on his own fans, is Elon Musk just came out recently and he sided with the gamers and he basically said that bro like pronouns uh, doesn't belong in video games uh, in fantasy in art you know DEI don't belong there and this and that DEI, DEI is bad for gaming which is facts uh, it's actually a fact right Be because uh, it's a fact and he started saying that woke stuff is killing games as well he said stuff like that i'm paraphrasing of course like i'm not directly quoting elon here but i'm paraphrasing and yeah gamers agree with him i agree with him uh, and what he's saying is facts it's absolute objective he was speaking objectively and he got mad now surely i would say this if uh, you don't like elon that's your right <laughs> that's your right if you disagree with uh, what's going on that's your right if you agree with it that's your right too man Listen, man, we're not living in a Hitler era, era where you gotta absolutely, you must agree, you must agree. No, man, you can disagree. But, like, to do what this dev is doing, that's, like, crazy. Because, like I said, if the game don't succeed, at minimum, they're gonna start firing devs. Maybe not day one. A lot of people are gonna lose their job, bruh. And <laughs> if the game, like, really bombs, like, let's just say Concord, they might even shut down the entire studio, bro. Like, we, and this is not even me, uh, it's not even like an exaggerated thing. We've seen a bunch of studios get shut down. Saints Row, massive franchise, right? Massive. Whether you like it or not, that's what well, we're not getting into that. But like, yeah, Saints Row was big. Shut down. Sweet baby, <laughs> shut it down, right? And, and Concord, PlayStation, biggest, one of the biggest exclusive, brand new exclusive. 400 million US dollars, let that sink in, man. <laughs> Eight years they spent on that sucker. A and gone. Ultimately, they couldn't even make one million dollars is what we're hearing. 400 million dollars spent, they couldn't even make one million is what we heard, all right? Now, maybe these numbers are wrong. What I mean by this is that maybe they ended up making two million. Bruh. But like, dog, two million, 400 million. You know what I'm saying? Like, and ultimately they had to shut it down. Those suckers were, and there were rumors that they might release Concord for free later on, right? Guess what? Those rumors were wrong. Wrong. Because ultimately they realized that gamers, uh, <laughs> they're not, they're probably not gonna like this because gamers are realizing, and all of us, this is, this is me too. Gamers are tired of people walking all over me. This is how I'm fighting back. Just replace arm with we. This is how we're fighting back. We're tired of people walking all over us, man. Like, simply, quite frankly, man. Don DeMarco real quick, bruh. Like, these suck is crazy. This is revenge of the Captain BBC. This is justice for Captain BBC, man. I'm with the Captain BBC. I'm with Yasuke right now. What they've done to Yasuke, crazy. Crazy. I'm talking about Ubisoft specifically on this one. But that's his revenge, man. I'ma let, I'm a, I'm a let Yasuke have his moment right now, man. I'ma let him have his moment, bro. That, it was unjust as to what they've done to Yasuke. Unjust. Unjust. It's why we do everything we can to make the game as inc- Uh, unjust. Unjust. I'm mixing French and English with that, like, brownie. Inclusive as possible. Pissing off the chuds is just a side benefit. Well, that, that, that's not inclusive if you're trying to piss off a segment of the population, you know, the chuds as you push it, which are the people buying the game, the actual gamers, the people that care about the lore, the reality behind the scenes of what the games actually are, the people that are passionate about the gaming experience, the chuds, that's who you want to piss off? Alright, good luck with that. If they just made a product gamers wanted, everyone would be happy, but no, they have to self-insert politics that clash with the overwhelming majority of gamers and have no place in the game world itself. Again, a fantasy RPG does not need woke politics and pronouns injected into it. When the game ultimately fails to meet any of the minimal expectations, they're gonna act surprised here. Are they <laughs> really this <laughs> stupid though? Like, it's yeah, gonna make are. you wonder. Why are we doing this? I understand. The parent company of Obsidian Entertainment is Microsoft, and Microsoft is known for pushing the whole DEI nonsense and everything. I get all that. 
But at the end of the day, don't you think you'd want to create a product that gamers yeah. want to play instead of injecting ideologies? Is it really this hard? I label and, and listen, man, I'm not a console fanboy or anything. Like, I own a PlayStation. I love PlayStation. But if you like Xbox, hey, we're gamers, right? So it's not about that. But listen, it's a fact. Concord was a PlayStation exclusive and it failed. And rightfully so, right? What they've done is insane, right? Like, nobody liked that. Nobody liked that. Maybe, like, some people liked that. Let's be real. Like, you know, uh, 700, 700 people loved, loved yeah. it, right? Essentially. Uh, that was the player count, the peak uh, <laughs> of that game. Okay, on Steam. But, but yeah, okay, whatever, right? But, but yeah, people did not like that game. Microsoft, Xbox, y'all suckers. Your Xbox is not doing good. Guys, this is a fact. This is not my opinion, all right? I'm not trying to be a console fanboy. What I'm trying to say here is that Xbox, it's an objective truth. It's not doing as well as they want it to do, okay? And with this game, it's a, 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 a wild, right? It's a big Xbox game It's that's coming out, right? They could have made something amazing and showed PlayStation and Sony, go shove it, suck it. We got a big boy out here, man. We got a big, we got big guns too. They could have done that, but they were like, nah, man. <laughs> we want our studio to be shut down too, just like yours. Just like, just like you guys. Just like we're, we want our studio to be shut down. So it's like a competition, right? It's like a schlong measuring contest right now. It's like Concord, they spent 400 million and they ultimately had to shut down. Now, I guess Xbox is looking to get one of their studios shut down too. And they're like, yeah, let's, let's uh, shut it down, man. Let's shut it down. What? You guys are crazy, man. You guys could to... Man, where is Uncle Phil at, though? Uncle Phil, man, you gotta do something, bruh. You gotta... You need to do something right now. Labeling traditional gamers as chuds and then openly celebrating their frustration as a side benefit, Hansen is revealing his deep-seated contempt for, ironically, the very community that has supported Obsidian and its projects over the years. His current attitude not only alienates longtime fans of Obsidian, but now it also signals an extremely troubling shift in the studio's priorities towards promoting diverse rhetoric over actually fostering a welcoming gaming experience. Almost like they contradict the very thing they say they stand for because it flies in the face of their ideology and they can't mm. see the forest for the trees because they're so caught up in what it has to be and if it doesn't fit their narrative then you're the enemy. Ironically mm. this entire controversy began back when Elon Musk reacted to the news that Avowed was going to feature pronouns and I mentioned this in a previous video when Elon retweeted Grubbs on Twitter and doing that set the story into orbit. Elon oh crap okay I thought he said that in generally but he specifically quoted the tweet of Avowed. Damn! Yo! <laughs> Elon, 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 <laughs> man, nah, man, Elon W, Elon right there, man, W, Elon, it's crazy that one of the world's, uh, and you guys, guys, listen, if you don't like him, you got your reasons, I'm not even saying that you have to like him or not like him, you got your reasons for liking him or not liking him, you know, it's like, whatever, but it's like, it's crazy to think about it, if you love video games, all right, forget about anything, uh, everything else for a moment, if you love video games, Elon Musk is one of the biggest uh, uh, person on the planet. I mean, well, he wealth-wise, he's big. He got Tesla, right? SpaceX, and got like other stuff. Of course, uh, he's one of the biggest personality, one of the biggest uh, top dog out there. That is talking about all this crap that's going on, and he's back in gamers. You you feel what I'm saying? So forget everything else. But it's like, if you love video games, if you love video games, and you want video games to get better and you want good games well elon is the guy right now because yes you're talking about it i'm talking about it but uh, i'm talking about it asman gold's talking about it one of the biggest youtubers talking against it too right uh, uh, uh and a lot of youtubers smash jt for example he's talking about it a lot of youtubers talking about it but our voices are not the same my voice is not the same as let's just say asman gold it's a fact it's a fact all right like let's and your voice is not the same Right? Our voices are not the same. It's different when Asmongold talks about it, and it's big, and it's certainly different when Elon talk about it. It's a different, guys. Like, listen, we can be in a Delulu land and be like, nah, my voice matters, your voice matter. To a certain degree, maybe. But guys, listen, man, it's all about who got the biggest schlong out here, okay? Let's let's be objective here. So, W Elon on this one. Elon called the inclusion of pronouns utterly unacceptable in a fantasy RPG on X. And in response, Hansen took the blue sky to celebrate Musk's criticism, saying, Sickos.jpg, I wanted to badly make him mad with my game, and I can't believe it actually happened. Mm. Just wait until you see the default, you sad little bleep. Wait, 
what are, what are we doing here? Are, are we making a game to make it as fun as possible and yeah. take you away in this fantasy RPG? Or are we making... It is, it is insane. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is a GTA 6 drama ongoing. Like, some stuff was discovered. Rockstar Games, they removed, like, cops and robbers DLC for some reason. People are saying GTA 6 going woke. Is that true? Is that not? Check out this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there.